they had closed them because of the flooding. So, that distance over there is going to Ventura, and of course, so on all the way to Carpinteria, Santa Barbara. Go check it out. It's beautiful. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. This is all our beach here from our campground. It's totally secluded. It's like we have the whole place to ourselves. There's some people out here. I think I'm gonna get uh I'll go to the taco shop over here down the street and get me a a fishing pole. Whatever I need, I'm gonna fish off the shore here. Since we're gonna be here for a while and catch me some good fish. So but yeah, let me get over here and look again. So here's the river, as you can see. There's a little levee there, or a sandbar, I should say. So that's McGrath over there, where we're at. So yes, it's great news. This is what we've been hoping for. Like I said, they can't break uh, the sand with tractors. It has to be done uh, naturally because it's an environmental uh, protected area because of a guppy. A certain guppy they want to preserve and have multiply. So, yep, that little guppy is what keeps them from bringing tractors to dig this so the water can flow. It has to do it naturally. So, anyway, I hope everybody had a nice Mother's Day. We did. We had to work this morning, but that's okay. Pretty good work, it's easy. And we're at Grass State Park. If you guys wanna come out camping, it's first come, first serve, no reservations. And uh, just let it, me and Pam know, we'll try to save you a spot. So, no hookups. They do have water there so you can fill your fresh water tank. Um, you can go to, uh, uh, you can go to uh, Point Magoo State Park to dump or Carpentria or there's a, lo a real close local private RV park you can dump. But um, so it's not that far. Other than that, it's a great campground, nice fire pits and everything. Okay, this is David and Pam, Alex Gallardo, RV Strong. Like our Facebook page. Like our channel, YouTube I channel. I saw flying fish. Subscribe.